Hi everyone, I'm Yogi Yue. Thank you for joining us today. We're gonna to be going through an evening flow. If you have a block available, go ahead and grab it, use it. But if you don't, that's totally fine. Let's start today in child's pose. Once you get to child's pose, open your knees out to the sides. Allow your belly and chest to fall towards your mat. Ground down through your forehead and breathe. On your next inhale, come into swan pose. Send your hips to the, your mat. Lift your toes, lift your chin. And then tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Take some deep breaths in and out. Move around however you need. Good. Look forward. Walk up to meet your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Now open your feet out just a little more, about hip width distance apart. Bend your right knee a lot. Let your hand down and then take your other arm, reach it up to the sky. And you want to work on straightening out through that left side. And stretching deep into your hamstrings. And take this arm, bind it behind your back. And switch sides. Bind your arm. One more breath here. And unwind, come back to your forward folds. Heel toe your feet in together just a little bit. Inhale, start to rise all the way to the sky, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Step it back, high plank. Option here to drop your knees for this first one. Shift forward a little and come down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Now let's do that one more time. Inhale, look forward. Walk or hop, meet your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, look forward. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And step your right foot between your hands, runner's lunge. Take a twist, right arm reaches to the sky, look up. Chaturanga, low push-up. And keep that back foot lifted as you flow. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And step your left foot forward. Runner's lunge. Twist it out. Chaturanga. 
Chaturanga low push up. Keep your left leg lifted as you flow. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look between your hands, walk, hop, or jump. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, rise all the way. Bend your knees for chair pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Sit nice and low. Tuck your belly button up and in towards your spine. Send your booty down towards your heels. Sit back into your heels. Breathe here. You're gonna to start to feel some heat generating in your body. Push past your comfort zone, sit a little low. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra. If you're ready for up dog, lift your thighs, knees off the mat, only keeping the tops of your feet rounded. Bring it back, downward facing dog. And step your right foot forward. Crescent lunge this time. All right, so your back heel stays lifted, leg is strong and mighty. Inhale as you reach up, bend deep into that front knee. Breathe. And bring your hands to heart center. Take a twist, so hook your elbow outside your knee. Press your hands firmly together as you look up. Twist towards the sky. Warrior two. Sink in low, soften your shoulders, reach your arms out far and long. Breathe here. Exalted warrior, reverse your front palm, reach it back. Bring your forearm to your thigh for side angle pose. And here is where you can use your block if you have it. Okay. Bring it out to the inner part of your foot, place your hand down and reach up, All right? So instead of forearm to thigh, you can bring your hand to your block. Deepens the pose just a little, but not so much that you lose the alignment, right? Having a block really helps be like an extension of your practice, bring some length and height to your poses. Now set your block to the side. Straighten out both legs for pyramid pose. So back foot comes in a little closer and you wanna find the balance in your hips. It's all right, so shift side to side, walk your feet a little further apart and fold all the way in. Step your back foot to meet the front. Forward fold. And take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, Yogi Tola. Drop your head, take your elbows out to the side. Shake out yes and no. Releasing some tension, any tightness holding in your back, neck, and shoulders. Let it all go right here.
And as you release, slowly rise up to standing, reach up to the sky, add a back bend. Good, hands to heart center. And come into tree pose, doesn't matter which side you start on. Always know that you can take your tree however you'd like, right? So you can start as a kickstand, keeping your toes grounded on your mat. You can bring it up to your shin, foot to shin. And you always wanna avoid your knee just to protect your knee. So bring it up above your knee to your inner thigh. If you want a little more, right? Press foot to thigh, big inhale, lift up through your chest. Maybe even reach up. Let's get deep into your hips. So cross your ankle over your knee into a figure four. Yeah. And then you wanna sit low and back like chair pose, right? So keep your hands at heart center. If you want a little more, bring your fingers to your mat. This is another excellent place to use your block. Hands to block. Inhale, rise up, shake it out. Inhale, reach to the sky, big inhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, take your flow, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, so remember up dog, tops so of the feet grounded on the mat. Look up and take it back, downward facing dog. And step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Sink it nice and low, inhale, look and reach to the sky. Hands to heart center and twist. Open out into warrior two. Soften your shoulders, sink and low. Breathe. Flip your palm, exalted warrior. So you wanna keep your front knee bent, nice and low, stacked over your ankle as you exalt. Don't lose the alignment of the pose. And come down, forearm to thigh. And once again, grab onto your block, bring your hand lower. And if you, as you can see, your block has different heights, so you can always play with the heights of your block. See what works for you. Bring both hands to your mat for pyramid pose. Now you want both legs to straighten out. Bring your back one in just a little closer and fold in. Back foot meets the front. Forward pull. Bend your knees a little or a lot. Walk your hands under for gorilla pose. And try to get your toes to meet your wrists. 
drop your head, shake it up. Once again, start to play around with straightening one or both legs. Breathing deep into your hamstrings. And slowly release. Rise up to standing all the way. Reach up. And hands to heart. And taking it to tree pose on the other side. So you want to shift your weight to the side that you haven't done. Bring your foot up. And remember you have three options, right? Always feel free to keep your foot grounded down, modify. Bring it up to your shin. or even come up all the way to your inner thigh. And expand up and out, reach up. And start to come to figure four. So hands to heart center, cross your ankle over your knee. Start to sit low like chair pose, bending deep into your standing leg. Now always you have the option of bringing your fingers to your mat. If that's a little too much, grab onto your block. Right? Always feel free to bring your hands to a block. Use it as support. And come back up, shake it out. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling nice and open, loose, everything like that. Take a deep breath in, let it out. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold in. Halfway lift, look forward. Chaturanga, hide a low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. And come to a child's pose, set your knees down, and sit back. And slowly start to rise back up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Once again, I'm Yogi Yue. Have a great day.